All right, so I'm finally doing a video on these uh, Meteor 65 air frames and canopies. I've had them for a while. I did do this conversion here. Um, this was originally the TC MMRC Coon 65. It's like their budget, uh, you know, 65 millimeter tiny whoop. And uh, using these lighter, this lighter frame and canopy, I got the weight down. It's the same parts, it's the same camera, electronics, uh, motors, everything, uh, flight controller. I just changed out the frame, the canopy, and the propellers. And reduced the weight from like, I think 21.8 grams, and this is like 19.8, uh, I believe. So, yeah, it drops down a couple of grams. And uh, yeah, so, you know, if you're looking to you know, take your existing tiny whip build and use these parts to reduce the weight a few grams. Uh, the benefit is it does fly a little bit better and you get a little bit more flight time. Uh, something else worth noting is these new gem fan props that I've on here are also a little bit lighter. I think they're like uh, 0.2 grams lighter than the original gem fans that, that these tiny whips came with. This is the 1208. I think the originals are like the, the 1215, I believe. Uh, but they basically it has a little bit of a tapered edge versus a bullnose edge. These are a little bit quieter and seem to be a little bit more efficient. So in addition to the lighter weight and everything, um, you can get a little bit more flight time uh, on these propellers and just having everything a bit more lightweight. But I do want to show you actually how much everything weighs. Yeah, so I did re I misremember. It was it's 19.6 now and it was 21.8 before. And something worth noting here is that this canopy is specifically made for, I believe, uh, the CO3 camera from Beta FPV, and you use a screw there to hold in that lens. And this uh, Atom camera that was on the Kuhn does not fit this cage with this canopy, so I had to cut off some parts, as you can see there. It's kind of hard to see, but I put some glue on there and to hold the camera place it's just uh, some welder's glue. And so depending on what camera you have, you may need to cut off some plastic and glue it in here to hold it in place. Now, I've had no problems since I've done that. It's it's in pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't move around at all. And I'm, I made sure it's all lined up and everything exactly the way I want it to. Something to keep in mind, uh, this, this canopy is only made for certain uh, cameras. Uh, I will be doing some new builds of this frame later, but I'm not going to be using the canopy. Uh, I tend to prefer the pusher style build, so I'm going to have it upside down. And then I glue the camera here in the side. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to have another video a little bit later with some with more beta FP parts. The 1S flight controller, the video transmitter, the 30,000 KV 0702 motors. That is, will be another ultralight build. Hopefully I can get even lighter than my last one, we'll see. Um, but just to show you what the canopy weighs, you know, I heard that these weigh a little bit different based on what color you have. Uh, I heard the dye can make a slight difference. So 0.666 on the blue one here. And then the green one is also, okay, so these are coming in about the same. We'll see what these uh, uh, frames weigh. So the frames weigh 2.59897. That's the white one. Let's see if the uh, blue one weighs a little different. 2.659. So very, very slight differences. 2.64 for the pink one. And this transparent one is a uh, 2.64. So slight variation depending upon the color you have. And also, I heard that the color also changes the rigidity properties. Um, these are all kind of semi-transparent, so they all kind of feel the same. And then just to compare, this is the original frame before the light, the air, air version came out. So it's 3.29, 3.3 grams if you round it up versus the 2.6, now it's coming at 2.2. 62.59 like it's kind of changes here based on the airflow there's a there's a air conditioning vent right above my desk here so it's kind of blowing down on the scale so about 2.6 grams for the 
white version of the air and then 3.3 grams. That's roughly what 0.7 grams. That's pretty significant weight difference between the two. Now I'm not going to go over all the little details on the differences. Um, they're now they're noted on the product page. So for example, they made this little part here a little bit shorter. It's a little bit taller on the original. Stuff like that. And then they um, reduced some of the material in here and then they put these sort of I don't know ridges in place here to hold the motor in place. I found that if you don't use if you use a non beta FP motor, these get in the way. So on my build here for this one with this motor, I actually had to snip off those little ridges there on the uh, ed edges of the uh, screw hole there just to get the motor to mount properly. Uh, there's a lot of other differences here in terms of how they reduce the weight of the overall frame. Again, all listed on the product page link in the video description. So in terms of whether or not this is going to last a lot longer in terms of longevity, in terms of durability, I'm not really 100% sure how to answer that. I have crashed this one a fair amount already without any problems. I haven't seen it, you know, again, when, when things get lighter, it doesn't need to be as durable and it is quite flexy. So you do have to uh, adjust your PIDs. Um, you might find that your PIDs might be a little bit too high, then just drop them down a little bit because the flame, the frame is a little bit more flexible than the original uh, Meteor 65 frame. So just some things to keep in mind. You may need to be uh, doing some tuning changes um, to get things dialed in right. Uh, but I think you'll overall find that the performance improvements and the um, increase in flight time are going to be pretty uh, notable and probably pretty useful for a lot of people and I think that's the main reason I think you'll see people going to this frame. Uh, of course, you know, for those of you that require ultimate durability and maybe neither one of these frames are going to be best for you, uh, you probably want to be looking for something quite a bit heavier. And if you're looking for like a tank type of frame, I would recommend going with the Newbie Drone Cockroach frame. Um, the Hummingbird that I recently reviewed comes in at like 80 bucks, comes with that frame with a lifetime warranty. So if you are one, a person that does crash and break these a lot, um, I would recommend that going that route. It's a lot heavier. I think that one weighs like 23 grams, 22 grams, something like that. I remember it's, it's, it was heavier than with this weight, with weight, with this weight originally. So um, when you want a tank frame, you do have to add a lot more weight and to get more durability. There's not really no way around that. Um, yeah, so if that's what you're looking for, I would suggest going that route. But you know, for those of you that are more interested in performance and flight time, this is definitely a way to go. And I, I'm gonna have another build later. As I said, I'm gonna make a pusher version. Um, really light so this is coming at like 19 grams I'm, I'm imagining this one will probably be pushing 17 ish maybe less i'm going to hopefully get even less than that we'll see anyway i'll cover for this video links in the video description if you guys want to check it out overall again you know not for everybody but you know for, for those of you that are looking for more flight time and a little bit more performance out of your 65 millimeter whoops check out the links down in the video description